between you and me, I think it's the greatest instrument. <laughs> so the instrument is a beautiful thing to look at. Uh, it's, a, it's a wonderful shape. The great makers, whether they're new ones or they're old ones, you have this large piece of wood, and it's a, it's a lovely thing to, to admire. The music that the best composers have written for cello is usually very lyrical and very dramatic, because the, the cello is the nearest to the voice, or the human voice, the range of the voice. My name is Raphael Walfish, and I was born in London. Um, I, my, both my parents were musicians. Um, my father actually uh, spent his childhood in Palestine and then in Israel uh, from 1937 to 1948. And my mother, who also came from Germany, uh, finally settled in London, which is why I was born there. And now I live with my wife, Elizabeth, who will be playing tonight. And um, we have three grown-up children and one grandchild. I have to say I had a very happy childhood. I wouldn't mind revisiting the 1950s, although it was a slightly more grey time in London. But um, 1950s and 60s were, were very enjoyable. And actually, to go back as a, an older person would be interesting, to, not just as a child. Also, from the point of view of a musician, I would, I would be interested to be around again in the, uh, in the 40s. I mean, not, not during the war, but I would love to hear some of the great artists that I uh, in their heydays, uh, so like my teacher Piatigorsky, Heifetz and Milstein, some of the great string players. It would be wonderful to hear them. Ah, Delicatessen owner. <laughs> I, always, I always love going to Delicatessen. I know it's a hard life, but um, I know I always had this uh, kind of uh, uh, slight fantasy about that. But also, no, in a, in a more serious matter, I was very interested when I was a child and beyond in the theatre. And I, uh, being an actor was very much part of my ideas. I think it's a terribly difficult, terribly difficult life, even harder than a musician. I mean, I'm 62 now and I feel incredibly fortunate to be in good health and strong and uh, full of um, enthusiasm for what I do and love of what I do. Uh, I'm blessed with a great family. So I would love to just continue what I do on a high level and enjoy my, the, the progress of my kids and my grandchildren. And uh, I think that's already a lot to ask for.